over the weekend, uh, what I'd been doing was um, I was testing out my um, supplies, man, testing out the stuff I've been stocking up on. Um, I simulated uh, blackouts. Um, I simulated um, if, if um, the water was affected and he had to shut the water off. Um, so I basically was testing everything out that I was, you know, I'm stocking up, man. That's something that you can do over the weekend. You just pick a time and you can do that with your family, man. I mean, shut everything down, man, and then use everything that you uh, um, have been stocking up on. And you're going to check for the weakest point. See, see, this, see what you may be lacking in. Basically, that's all you're doing. See what you're going to be lacking in. All right, so that's something you can do over the weekend. You don't have to venture out. You can do everything inside your home. Hit that breaker, boom, and just take it from there, man. All right, so let's get into some of these news articles. Okay, this is out of CNBC. Credit card debt hits a staggering $1.13 trillion. Here's why so many Americans are under pressure. Collectively, Americans owe $1.13 trillion on their credit cards, according to a new report from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Higher prices have largely caused consumers to spend down their savings and lean on credit cards to make ends meet. Now, young adults who are also burdened by high levels of student loan debt are increasingly falling behind on the payments and speaking of young adults man i was talking to this um this young lady man and we were talking about something we were inside of the uh, local hardware store and we were just talking about the cost of rent and said and she just said basically she was homeless she can't afford to um she can't afford the payments man on the on what they're asking for you know in my area, man, they're they talking about $1,300 for a, um, just a one-bedroom. Then you still have to think about um, utilities and stuff like that. So you have a lot of people in America, man, that are, that are basically struggling, man. And while all this is taking place, man, you have the governor of Texas down there, man, doing what he have to do to secure that border. But you know what we're doing, man? You know what the mayors are doing? And I'm not going to say all mayors. I'm going to say New York City mayor. Let's get into this article. It says, New York City launches 53 million program to hand out prepaid credit cards to migrant families. Did you just hear that? While you're going to work, Busting your tail to pay your taxes. New York City is starting a pilot program to hand out free debit cards to migrants, man. And I was watching a couple of news articles, man. They they just uh, raided a couple of uh, apartments up there, man, and locked up some migrants uh, because they ran some kind of... Um, um, robbery. They was on a robbery spree. Check it out, man. I'll try to leave the link, man. I mean, New York is New York and Chicago, man. They are getting it, man. They want to be sanctuary cities, man. And they getting all of it. They are getting all of it. The way they beat down that uh, officer, those two officers, man. And then let them go with no bond. The last, the last thing I heard uh, about this story was they were off going to um, Arizona or, or California. One of the two. So you have Mayor Eric Adams. Administration will soon start handing out prepaid credit cards to migrant families being put out in the Big Apple hotels. The $53 million pilot program run by New Jersey company Mobility Capital Finance will provide, excuse me, will provide 
to asylum seekers arriving at the Roosevelt Hotel with the city cash to help them buy food according to city records. And, and you gotta, come on, man. This is a slap in the face, man. What country you know that has open borders and then when you get there, you're, you're up in a four-star hotel. You're getting telephones, driver's license, social security cards. You're getting all this free stuff, man. I know some people out there, they're asking, well, what's really going on? You have to ask your Democrats who you voted for what's going on. You got a lot of migrants coming in here. Just my opinion. Remember, everyone was uh, um, quitting their jobs. Uh, basically, you had employees giving out big bonuses to try to get people to work. Well, they don't have to worry about that now. They got all the people in the world. Them boy, that border is down there smack dead wide open. They bringing them in, man. Seriously. And when it's time, just my opinion, and when it's time for election, when they get done, man, them suckers going to be uh, registered to vote and everything. So everything is, is, is turning. In some cases, man, people are getting hammered, man. Seriously, man. Some people are, are, are down, man. I'm talking about down bad. Eviction, they're, they're, they're sinking in credit card debt, the emergency uh, uh, funds, they exhausted all their emergency funds. And some people are just stressed out, man. They don't know what to do. And here you have the New York mayor starting a pilot program to give out $53 million and uh, debit card, credit cards, whatever you want to call it, man. And he said, that's not all. And if the, the, the program is a success, they're going to extend it. So why? It's, it's just mind boggling, man, of, of what's taking place right now. Seriously. If you don't have your supplies together, if you're not practicing and, and taking your stuff out the box and actually seeing what you got and you don't see it and you're not seeing what's 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 not gonna work for you or, or what's working for you and fill in the blanks, you're gonna be in trouble. Seriously. You are gonna be in trouble. I'm hearing a lot of people say their car insurance uh has increased. Are your hours at work increasing? Did you get a pay raise? Everything is constantly going up. The value of the dollar is shrinking. And you have some people out here still think it's a party. They still think it's a game. I'm telling you, man, seriously, I can see it. I see what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. So if you out there and you have a job, it may not be the best job, but if it's paying your bills, this is not the time to lose a job. Seriously, especially if you don't have no skills, man. Some people are versatile. You know, they lose one job, they could pick up another job like that, man. Because they have different skills. They, they, they're talented. They're well balanced. And then you have that one person. Been at that job for many years man. And what if that company downsides? Then what are you going to do? You have to ask yourself these things man. That's why you have to have. Emergency. Backup plan. Test your, your supplies out, man. 
If you're prepping out there, man, test out. You got you got to test it, man. Seriously. Power failure. Anything can happen. You want to make sure the stuff you have is going to work for you, man. So with so many things out here taking place throughout America, man. Um, and I don't think things are going to get any better for a lot of Americans. You still have migrants coming in. Texas governor can only do but so much. I just saw another news or video where you had migrants on a boat uh, uh, hit California Beach and just ran off somewhere, man. Get yourself in better shape, man. There's no time to be, be slacking. You want to get yourself in shape Telling you, man, you want to get a routine. Because things, man, whoo, man, I ain't never seen it this bad. It's bad, seriously. And that's just me, man. Leave a comment down below, man. Let me know what's going on in your area. Because in my area, man, people are getting laid off, man. Insurance costs, car insurance is rising, man. Home insurance is rising. People are racking up credit card debts. The cost of food is going up. So make the proper adjustments. Test your preps out. Get yourself shortwave radio, man. Two-way radio. Some other way where you can hear emergencies, communicate with your neighbors, family members. And I'm out. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.